Meet Victoria is presented by Thrive Fuel. Welcome to Meet Victoria, where we'll get to know the people, businesses, and heroes that make this community special. I'm Caleb Shaw, owner of Shaw Realty and your host. Now let's go meet Victoria. Hey gang, welcome back to another Meet Victoria with Caleb Shaw. This week we are at Clean Plate. Guys, one of the hardest things about getting in shape, staying in shape, the health journey, is the eating part of it. Everybody thinks it's got to be bad food to be good. That's just not true. In fact, guys, their motto is, it is not punishment to eat clean. So let's go inside and check them out, find out a little bit more about Clean Plate. Hey, my friend. What's up? How you doing? I'm doing well, man. Good, good to see you. Good to Thank see you. you. Come Thanks. on in. Thanks. Ugh, let me get out of the way of the door there. <laughs> Boy, I, I don't normally knock myself out with the door on no, the way no, in. You're good. You're and good. I'm, thanks for having me, man. I'm yeah, really no excited problem. today. We're really happy you came. And I get to make some donuts. Very, very true. Outstanding, yes, outstanding. Well, are you ready to get down to some donut yeah, making? Make this happen? Yeah, we're ready to go. Ready Let's to do go. this. Let's, Let's do this. In the kitchen. All right, gang, we are back. And we are with Miss Geneva, the boss lady back here, <laughs> making it happen. You know it's getting serious when we got the blue gloves and the hairnet. So... We are going to get after some of these delicious donuts here. She's going to walk us through it. I'm going to make some of these. I'm going to help her make some of these. And hopefully that mine are just as delicious as hers. So okay. on that note, Miss Geneva, thank you so much for having me back yes, here. Yes, sir. Walk me through. What are we about to do back okay, here? Okay, so these are the Oreo donuts. All okay. you're going to do is dunk them in top, on top. So you're just going to right. dunk one like that. Oh. Take off the access chocolate. And you want the hole down? Uh, yes, hold, yeah, right, uh -huh, hold, hold down. down. Boom. There you Shake go. Shake out the excess. There you go. All right. And then you just grab one Oreo, just one. Just one? Yep. You sure just one? Just okay. one. Just and one. then crumble it on top. Uh, you did that crumbling so much better than me. <laughs> no, Kinda you're good. Made a mess of Th no, that's perfect. The messier, the better. Yeah, you know, if, if I have to, I'll, I'll eat that one. No, well, no, and, you're good. You're good. If, if I absolutely no. have to. <laughs> so, okay. So, you want to make on. more? You, or let's, you want to move on? Let's All right, there you go. You're good. Get some of these going. I want to put you ahead of the curve here. Yes, sir. I, I skimped them on the icing there. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. They and get mad about that. They do yeah. get mad about that. Can't skip on a donut here. Nope. All right, all right. And then just one Oreo. One Oreo. I like how you keep emphasizing that for me because <laughs> I'll try to sneak in, too, if you don't stay on me. Yep. Trust me, they tried. Oh. I know. This one, guys. This is... We got to practice portion control. So where did the donuts come from? Was this, this is a newer thing you guys are doing? Or has this um, been from we, the very beginning? Yeah, we've always done them, um, but we started out in our trailer, so we didn't have much room to um, to make donuts. And when we made them, we literally made six at a time. So now we're able to make, <laughs> wow, you know, you're more than six. Wow, you though, aren't you? Um, and we did not have this gorgeous oven over here, so we had a little... Barbie doll, Susie Bake oven, um, just a conventional oven. So this whole um, thing has just been a continuing work in progress. Yes, we're just sir. grow a little yes. bit, grow a yep. little bit. Yeah, we work with what we got, and then we, we buy a little more, and then work with what we got. So well, what's um, neat about that is it tells you that the, the demand from the community is yes, there. Sir. You know, people are enjoying this, and uh -huh. they're buying into it, and, yes, and sir. there's there's good reason to have uh -huh. growth, huh? Yes, sir. So, oh, so, I'm gonna get yeah, an Oreo you do that. No, you yeah, do that, that last that one. That thing needs an Oreo. <laughs> All, right. All right. So um, if you want to come over here, I and certainly do. You can actually put them in the pan. So All right. it's All easy. Right. I promise. So basically, this is a mix already prepared because okay. it's super top secret. So you mean I don't get to come in here and know all the goods? All I, that way I can't go home and make this? I still no, got to come no. to you guys, huh? Yeah, because we use like seven sticks of butter. That's um, seven? <laughs> Man, I, I heard ten is the magic number, but yeah. I could live with seven. Yeah, butter makes everything taste good. For keto. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, super keto, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, so basically it is, you know, we can tell you the gist of it. It is like oat flour, whole wheat flour. Um, a lot of the normal things, like you'll have, you'll see our candies, our cereals, and things like that. That's all basic. They, and like Geneva was saying earlier, it's the portion of it is what keeps us separated from everybody else. Because most of these things, we're only using like one candy or, you know, like you just did, one Oreo. 
and it's just to get the taste and the crave away when you're dieting or gaining muscle mass because that usually tends to be the hardest thing. So. That's what people struggle with a lot is just that wanting that, that craving satisfied and so that kind of helps with that. Yeah. Outstanding. So I'll let you make All right, that so here's our more. magic batter right here. Oh, all right, all right. You know, the bad part of this is my wife's going to see this and then she's going to put me to work when I get home. Yeah. been dodging that bullet for a while. Definitely. Okay, so yeah, once it's thickened up good, uh, All right. we actually have scoopers, and these are actually very specific because this okay. sets the portion tone. This and is, helps control it, huh? Yeah, this is three ounces fully flushed, and okay. that's all of our donut base is three ounces. Gotcha. All right. So just a big full scoop of that. Do you level it off or do you heap it uh, Yeah, you can level it because what they're okay. going to do is just rise it. It's going to continue to rise. That's why sometimes you'll look at them and they have like, we call them little butts. Yeah, I saw that on there. Up. Yep. So. Okay, so just go yeah, first just one. Yeah, it. Uh, how and bad did I screw no, that up? No, that's perfect. Really? Yeah. Got Trust it, me, huh? Those look better than the ones I do. I usually get yelled at. <laughs> I'll steady. I'll take it. I'll st Tiffany, do not pay attention to this. I'm doing this so awfully. Nah, you're good. Man, this is now. How fast does it? How long does it take you to do a whole one of these trays? Have you gotten it down yet? Where you're just speeding through? Probably, what? Maybe 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Get the girls are faster. Here. Yeah. Because they got it where they can. They use it on the side, and they don't have to use their fingers. Yeah, and so we just all right. So it. I just did a row. Now I'm kind of. No, you're good. No, no, you're no, good. I kind of want to see. I, I kind of. Okay, you want to see? Uh, yeah, I kind of want to see the. Hold okay. on, let me get this all up my no, finger here. No, you're good. You're good. Uh, I, I want to see the. Okay, so the, the girl thing. I'm gonna try to match you. Get all that up. Okay, so we just scoop it. So you see you got it right there. Right there. There you go, and we just scoop it. And you don't even have it all over yourself. No. Nope. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> that's impressive. <laughs> so right. there you go. We kind of already know like that the measurements. So, uh, I'm, so. I'm coming back. Hold on. No, I, you're I good. You're good. You got I wanna, it. I want to try this again. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Clean it off on the side. There you go. All right. Hey, I still got it on myself. <laughs> all right. All right. So you, just, you might need to try on the other side. That's probably what it is. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Whoops. There you go. All right, getting a little better, getting a little better here. <laughs> now, the trick is when it rises, that'll pretty much tell you. Like, if oh, I did it right or not, right. that's the moment of truth. <laughs> All right. It's after the fact. Let me finish this row here. And now I'm all nervous about the rise. No, yeah, you're uh, good. The first time I did it, they actually looked like muffins. They rose so much. Yes. Yeah. Man, that's just because you were extra, you had extra love in it. Oh, yeah. That's all. All right, let me finish that one off. That one's looking kind of weak. All right. All right, all right. Got it, got it. Good Lord, Anna made a mess. No, no, no. All right, no. All right. got you it. That's done. to put those bad boys okay. in the oven. Moving on. No, no you're good, you're good. All right, sorry. Bust them in the oven. And let them cook for about That's 15 minutes. All right, all right. All right, you want to do these lemon yep. blueberries? Um, let me go back right. over here. Good eye. So this is going to be our lemon blueberry donut. And you just go around, squeeze, and I can do and that's that. That's it. Do, do me one more. Give me one okay, more. Okay, okay. Just want to make sure I got it down. There you Perfect. go. Perfect. All right. We can you do this it. here. All right. All right. So you just. Let's see. Are you right handed or left handed? I'm right handed. Yeah, I don't, they don't let me do this part, so consider you yourself go. very fortunate. Look how Please. slow I'm going. I'm all shaking, I'm all nervous <laughs> with it. I'm not usually allowed to touch little You're things good. either because I'll, oh wait, but you got so much more. How'd yours, hold on. Can you squeeze, so the more you do squeeze, I need a there you throw. go. All right, all right, here. There you go, you're good. Let me do okay. one more so they don't no, get mad you're good. at me. No. I gotta do somebody right on the icing. Squeeze thing. a little bit more, there you go. All on the squeeze, perfect, oh. just like that. All right. I'm all like, oh, shake it all <laughs> hard and stuff. I know it doesn't require that much energy. No, you're good. You're right good. Here. There you go. Squeeze, squeeze. There, you made it. Bam, you made that. that one work. Bam. All right. All right. I'll, uh, boom. All right. All right. So that, that's, the, that's the lemon blueberry. Got a little bit. I'll, um, I'll eat that later. No, you're good. And then let's see. Here's cinnamon right here. This thing's um, looking better when you come back to them. I know, yeah. right? So. Um, we still use white chocolate for the, um, the cinnamon, yes, sir. Same strategy from before? Yes, sir. All right. Just different topping. And then we just come back behind, and we just sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon toast crunch on it. 
And she's now, have you, you guys, I know you said you started with about six, you know, making six of these at a time. If you had to guess, how many are you making a day now? 350. Holy smokes. If smoke. we had to guess, yeah. 300. We're, well done, guys. We, we're blessed that we have a baker. Um, yeah. our, our, our sister, or whole sister that graduated from Cordon Bleu um, Pastry School in Austin. And so she... She's back here, and she just whips them up all yeah, day long. Yeah, she can whip these out. How many, uh, how much food do you, if you, I don't know how to ask the question, between all your products and all the different things you guys have going out a day, how much do you think if you, I don't even know if there's a way to answer that, but how much food do you think you're putting out a day or selling a day or, um, well, I guess it's okay. hard when you're across different um, things, but. It depends because we have multiple groups. Um, like the subscribers, like we have an exact count. We have uh, over 100 subscribers, and each one gets anywhere from 10 to 15 and meals. Oh, yeah. and, okay. uh, and then we also have uh, our day-to-day -day group where they just come in and grab whatever meal they like. Um, there's really no uh, portion stipulation or that. You they just dig in there. it's okay. a healthy option that okay. that they want. Um, and we usually make about. I guess in a week, probably about maybe 600 meals for them. And then our subscribers, we make over, I want to say it's like right around 2,000 meals. Wow. So in That's a week. That's a lot. That is a yeah. lot. And and so has that subscriber base been building pretty solid since you guys yeah. got started oh, yeah. with it? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we usually push that a little bit more just because we measure that um, if we want to grow, mm -hmm. our, if our subscription group is rising, then we know, okay, we need to go to the next step. That makes total so we sense. Never try to outdo ourselves and you know believe that oh we're just god's gift to everybody here in victoria you know that's not the case we want to get the people in make sure they stay and then we move to the next step create the demand yeah. first before you answer with your response yeah. oh, that makes real, total sense we're real lenient with um our subscription so if someone ever needs to move a payment or if they need to cancel there's no you know no fees if no they nothing cancel. like that so well, that's good that makes um, it easy to come yeah. back when uh -huh. life changes yeah. maybe uh -huh. and stuff oh, like yeah. that you're not yeah, we know life life happens. You and, yeah. and stuff and good. so you know but it's it's an ongoing thing so every time we have one or two cancel five more to sign right back up that's awesome so, um, yeah, that really is a blessing. So I'd never stress about how many are canceling because I know more God, are going to God is good, out. isn't he? Yeah. No. Yes, that, he that's is. That's outstanding. So, that is uh, he outstanding. has definitely provided for us. So. That's outstanding. How did um, I do on these? Did you I, did perfect. Did all right? Yes, trust good me. Deal. They're okay. going to get eaten, I good. promise. Good. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, they're really so. lucky if these go to anybody besides me. I'm, I'm having a hard time giving these away. No, so you're good. Yep, yeah, you did great. So, you good. did great. Good, good. So, um, just normal chop, just chop away. Chop away? Chop away. Oh. That, this, this is for our Reese's donut. So, are we going you for just like chop small, whatever you want. Just half of yeah. it, huh? Yes, All right, sir. let me do a little double we just, stack we here. We just place them on there remember. however we please. Boom, boom. There you go. Yeah, See, nice I can like. break stuff. <laughs> I, this I can do. You can tell also I don't really have, look like a chef here. I'll try not to leave my finger on the cutting board. Yeah. You guys would probably appreciate that, huh? Yeah. Yes, sir. Y'all should have had me sign a waiver before I came in here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Nobody wants my finger in their donut. Oh, Reese, you guys are really doing it's always, well today. It's always funny when she does it because she usually squeezes them and she gives me that look like. <laughs> <laughs> Mess with me. Mess with me. Yeah, right. no, I, uh, I know that look. I know okay. that look. That's perfect. That good for you? Yes, sir. All right. So All we can right. come back here. This is going to be for our Reese's Donut. Okay, we going in here? Yes, sir. Enters. All right. So you're just going to dunk away just like we did the dunk white chocolate? Dunk away. There you go. Yes, ma'am. Did I get enough on that one? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's perfect. There you go. Yeah, chocolate doesn't seize up as fast as the white mm. chocolate. Mm. Okay, so. All so right. this is a peanut butter base. You okay. can put dark chocolate on it, and now we're going to top it off with mm -hmm. Reese's. You put the Reese's however you How please. Ever, uh, this is going to be your donut, so you're good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just kidding, just yeah. kidding. While you guys are here, I'm there joking. There you go. Yeah, if you weren't here, I'd just dump that in my mouth. <laughs> so you did our Oreo donut, lemon blueberry, Oop. cinnamon toast crunch, and then our Reese's. Man, we ran the gambit mm -hmm. on that. Yes, well, sir. thank you so much. And then our other ones are getting close yeah. to being done. Oh, yeah, these are definitely done already. So uh. if you... Uh oh. Uh oh. No, you're gonna take my tumors or, or what do we call them? The butts? Or, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, it's to so it's okay. Trust uh -oh. me. You're good. Uh -oh. So. Wait, wait. 
They look like those little chickadees. Or yeah, those uh-huh. little, uh, the <laughs> peeps. <laughs> so we decided those are good or bad? No, oh, no, they're, they're good. good. Okay, Trust all right, good, I course. promise, they are, are good. Laugh? I don't want to walk no, out of here. No, no okay. not at all. All right. Not all at right. all. <laughs> yeah, we, a lot of people like to catch them when they just come out, especially when we have, like, the chocolate on top. I mean, because it's like... Oh, man. Melted chocolate with these protein-based donuts is All right, insane. so trust me, these are hot. Okay. I'm used to touching hot stuff. My grandma told me, taught me how to flip the tortillas oh, on the on my fingers. No, Oops. you're good, you're good. Okay, I'm sorry. Just like that. You just peel Man, them I should have asked that before I did that. No, you're okay. Ooh, and then... Get this one. I'm sticking Yeah, some of them get real sticky. There you go. Damn. That one got a little mm-hmm. extra love. That's extra love, we, <laughs> yeah, we say. And that's it. That's your vanilla. Donut. Thank you so yes, much, sir. Mr. Jimmy. You guys, this, this was a ton of fun. I learned a lot. I'm going to eat these here in a little while. Yes, sir. Um, I'm going to clean up, get this off my hands, and then we'll get right back to the interview. We'll see you guys in a few minutes. Hey gang, we are back. It has been a fun one today. We made the donuts, which I'm gonna eat later. We've learned a little bit about the different products and and meal plans and different things that you can get up here. But now I kind of wanted to zoom back out and sit down with them and hear how this all started, how the magic started, what what brought this together, what made Clean Plates happen. So guys, again, thank you so much for having me. It's been a ton of fun already. Um, Tell me about yourselves. Uh, You know, if you would, start with by introducing you guys to everybody. Uh, my name's Paul Tristan. I'm married to this lovely lady here. Geneva Tristan. Geneva <laughs> Tristan. And I know this was a joint venture that you guys oh, yeah. did together, mm-hmm. but you kind of brought your own reasons on why this is personal mm-hmm. and means something so much to you. And so why don't we go ladies first? Uh, okay. and let's just talk a little bit about your journey to get here, and then we'll, we'll segue into you. Um, okay, so if you haven't heard already, um, my journey started when I had my last son, um, or I was 230 pounds, and I knew that I couldn't stay like that. So I joined the gym at Elite Fitness, started working out, figured out, okay, I got to eat right, Um, jumped in that bandwagon, and I really had to dial down to just to lose weight and get get toned up and gain muscle. And so, like I said, I don't want to be skinny fat like y'all were talking about Mm -hmm. earlier. So I wanted to gain muscle, so I had to make sure I ate right. And it just started from there. And um, eventually they got on the bandwagon, so I always had to, like, cook my meals, (laughs) my healthy meals. And then I had to meal prep for myself and then cook them whatever they wanted. So eventually I was like, look, I'm not... I'm not Luby's here, so y'all got to eat what I eat, so. You know, it's funny you say that. That, That's very similar to to my wife and I's journey. You know, she she decided to, to, when we went paleo, you know, she she made that commitment and uh-huh. I was like, hey, I work out. I, I don't need yeah. to change what uh-huh. I eat. Yeah. So yeah. for about six months, she made two meals. She made herself mm-hmm. a clean meal and then she yeah. made me some hamburger mm-hmm. helper or yeah. whatever filth I wanted oh, to yeah. eat that yeah. day, you know? Uh-huh. And so it, uh, what we found later is we had to really make it a lifestyle change. Uh-huh. We, it, if we it were is. dieting, really then there is, was yeah. an end date and, it, uh-huh. and we always found ourselves reverting back. And mm-hmm. so we just fully committed, jumped mm-hmm. in and went with a lifestyle yeah. change. Mm-hmm. And that's when we kind of started finding some yeah. success. Was it similar for you? Yes, sir. Um, I definitely allowed myself to be flexible with it. Um, I didn't just want to um, torture myself if I ate a cookie or if I ate a cheeseburger or whatever I wanted. Um, but I always knew and I trained myself that um, if I did do that, you got to start, you know, get over it, whatever, and then just go on and continue your day and, you know, next day is going to be healthier. Um, another thing that I have done w- w- when I'm in training and I'm, I'm competing, um, I have trained myself to sit at plenty of restaurants and just drink my good water and, you know, Show watch some every- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I watch everybody else eat what they want. So, um, I have definitely put myself in uncomfortable situations where, you know, I'm, I have to train myself and, and you know, just watch them eat all the good stuff or, you know, or I guess the bad stuff is what I say. So So once you started, you know, and and made that decision Mm -hmm. to to start getting healthier, you know, understanding health is is kind of an uphill climb, especially in the Uh beginning. How long before you, I mean, was it just immediate results? Like you woke up 40 pounds heavier? I mean, less, not heavier, 40 (laughs) pounds lighter all of a sudden? No, um, no, it was definitely a a two-year venture for me. Um, It did take me a while just because I wanted to gain muscle. I didn't just want to lose, lose weight like that. So, um, That's the toning process, right? uh Instead of everything just kind of coming down. Yeah, I didn't just want, yes, sir. 
So um, I know, you know, women, and I, I will, you know, vow for myself. I'm very impatient, so I had to learn patience and and teach myself that this is going to be a, you know, a life-changing process. Because so, it really is um, a marathon oh, yeah, and not a sprint into uh -huh. health. Yes, and, but I enjoy, um, I don't feel like I'm missing out on, you know, other things because I do enjoy eating this way and um, it's just a part of who I am now. So. Well, and that's, a, you know, that's, a, that's an interesting point you hit because a lot of times people think with clean eating you are missing out mm -hmm. on things and yeah. that's what's so neat about this place is, is you know, my wife always said, you know, you need to get to a point, Caleb, where you look at food as fuel. And that's yeah, it. Yes. Which uh -huh. I understand the concept behind mm -hmm. that. But she's much more disciplined at that than uh -huh. I am. I, mm -hmm. I have a sweet tooth that occasionally uh -huh. need, I, I need a little something every yeah. now and uh -huh. then, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's where a lot of my struggle was. And so that's what's neat about this place yeah. is you have those options uh -huh. to, to have your cake and eat it too, so yes. to speak, uh -huh. you know, or have yeah. your uh -huh. donut and eat yes, it too. Sir. And, and uh, <laughs> But it, it's... It, that's a cool thing that you did, mm -hmm. but it, it is, it's, it's, it's a long journey. It doesn't mm -hmm. just happen overnight. And, yeah. and then I know your story is completely different than that. Oh, yeah. And yet we tied these together. So let's back up a little bit and talk about your, your journey here. Uh, my big thing for me to even be in this was, uh, it was, you know, family. Um, um, I had cousins a long time ago or a cousin, uh, in particular, um, you know, he wanted to be a chef and nobody knew, you know, I did the the normal thing for around here, you know, go to school uh, to be an operator, go to the plant, and you'll make tons of money. So that that was my life path. Um, and as we were growing up, though, we were like really, really close. Um, I think, you know, it was before we even got married. I had, you know, ran away because I was in love, and mm -hmm. you know, I had to be with her. So they make us do dumb stuff, oh, don't yeah. they? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know, I was like, you know, I'm I'm gonna go to Dallas, and you know kind of lost touch with with my cousin in particular uh, but we always talked on the phone we always talked about this dream restaurant we wanted to have um, of course he was going to be the cook and I was just gonna handle the money and all the finances and I was really okay with that mm -hmm. um, you know but sadly um, you know he had passed away um, you know not really ever ha having to have his full dream of owning his own spot now he was a manager at a few places which you know he was really really in love with um, but when he had passed, um, you know, none of us knew that he was an organ donor. That was something actually most of us in our family really didn't know anything about. Um, so, you know, we, it was a big surprise to us when we found out that um, somebody had received his heart. Um, and that became a big story in itself because um, the guy that received his heart at the time was, um, you know, a previous UPS worker, had no passion for cooking or anything like that. Uh, but when the transplant happened, um, I remember him telling me that there was a sudden urge, like he he had to become a chef, and like and you know it was very, you know, I, I read stories about it sometimes where people have the likeness of the previous person, and I thought that was pretty cool, and it kind of picked that passion back up um, that I had before with my cousin because you know I, that was our thing, and you know it was it was kind of strange because we. Um, we would get to talking about when he had finally moved here because um, um, he said he, he wanted to be close. He, he called it home. Um, so he moved from New York City, moved to Texas, uh, became a cook here. <laughs> it, I mean, it, There's it, so it, many layers to yeah. this. Yeah. It's just kind of mind-blowing. Yeah, so, you know. um, so he it, ended up from New York yeah. here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it was what? strange, too, because uh, the donor, um, their, their belief is they don't want the people to meet. Mm -hmm. because it, it can cause issues um, so like what they do is they allow them to like write letters right um, but they blur out names they blur out uh, places mm -hmm. just just to say sometimes it helps protect the families. That an yeah. An yeah. anonymity yeah you yeah and, you know it, it protects the families too because some people it it's really hard you know mm -hmm. they've lost the loved one no, I can see know? that yes mm -hmm. um, and I you know they ended up like on 2020 um, they flew my family, my aunt, and to go meet him for the first time. But it was crazy because I know, I think it came down to like Facebook, I think it was, that he, helped. I think it was YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, he wow. did a YouTube video. He did a, he was trying to reach out, but the convention, or the donor place was saying, you know, we can't give you inf personal information. So he did a video. And then somehow or another, somebody in my family saw it and said, hey, That's I think him. this is it. And it just I think his reaction. YouTube video was actually in a um, 
commercial kitchen. Yeah. When wow. he did his, his YouTube video. Holy smokes! I, yeah. I don't even know how to unpack <laughs> yeah. all of that. That's that's yeah. a lot. So you know, and um, he started cooking here. And at that time, I was actually a butcher going to college to be an operator. That's how I paid my way to school, uh, through school, and it, it kind of rekindled that connection, rekindled that passion. Um, and then, you know, sadly, of course, you know, he, he passed away. Um, and this was a few years later. And I've always had that connection with wanting to cook and liking to cook, but I never really expressed why I did what I did until we did this. Uh, because, you know, I, like I said, I graduated from college. I went to the plant. I became a supervisor. I worked out there for several years. So I was very comfortable um, in, you know, the income that we were making. And when we kind of sat down and said, hey, I think I want to do a food truck. It was like, you know, I was expecting, hey, you're an idiot. Because, like, we didn't tell nobody. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't tell my parents. She didn't tell hers that, hey, uh, Paul's thinking about quitting this, you know, six-figure income job. And we're going to do our own thing. So, How did that talk happen? Like, what what was the catalyst um, that, that pushed you guys into really, kick that spark off? Because um, we were still doing, I was doing this by myself. And then he was still um, working. And then we just literally... When David, you say doing it by yourself, you know about the health side yeah, of things. Yes, like cooking. The, the yeah, cooking. Yeah, we we had like a group of friends, uh, test people that we you know just um, would cook for, um, and then finally, I mean, we literally. I mean, I remember literally just talking to God, and I said, "We're gonna do this. We're gonna give it all to you. Whatever you make it, it's gonna be." Yeah. And so, funny how when you submit a little bit, and, yeah, and, and that's how literally, start to open I mean, up for you. yes, uh huh. Oh, yeah. So we literally gave this all to God, so, and so the first step was and, the food truck. Then, uh -huh. yeah. how do you even start looking for a food truck? <laughs> we right? didn't know either. We didn't yeah, know that's we a good doing. question. And, you know, it, it was actually a big learning experience for myself because, you know, I I considered myself a jack of all trades. So I'm like, hey, you know, I can buy a show. I can I can do the plumbing, the sink. I can, I can build all this. Mm -hmm. No problem. Well, that was probably the worst mistake that I've ever... I was, I was waiting on that one, yep. <laughs> you know, uh, it started going well, but then I was like, man, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, and it was actually a funny because when she said, you know, we gave it to God, it was like, because things started happening at that point that, like, we didn't realize, you know, because, uh, say, our Vin Hood, for instance, in the food truck, you know, those are very expensive. And I didn't know when I was buying it that, hey, maybe I should have had this stuff tested before I mm -hmm. put all this, you know, several thousand dollars down. Our vent hood didn't work. Mm. And I was like, man, you know, and we actually sat down and discussed, like, you know, hey, it's going to cost us about $800 just to buy a new one. I'll, you know, I can install it myself and save us some money. And we had, what, friends giving, mm -hmm. I think, at our house, like a little thing we do with our friends. You know, around Thanksgiving mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, we, you know, we just invited, you know, one of our friends, and he's like, "Oh yeah, you know, I do that. That's that's part of my business." You know, I kind of gave him the story of what was going uh -huh. on, and everybody was really interested in seeing it because, you know, we were, you know, they were the reason that we really kind of helped us go into this mode because, you know, I, I was barbecuing in my backyard, and people were like, "Hey, you should do this for a living," and you know, yada yada yada. But um, yeah, no, the one guy he came out and he said, "You know, let me look at it. You know, this is what we do," and he ended up helping me fix it and it was only ten dollars <laughs> nice you know compared to like we were fixing to drop eight hundred dollars mm -hmm. and it was said no this is just this little part you need and that's it and i'm like yeah you know seeing that things like that kept happening and we were rolling and rolling and we felt that you know yeah okay this is god telling us that this is what you're supposed to be doing you know i'm allowing these people to come into your life and you know blessing you and making this roll over and roll over because it's like you can't do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when we would talk to people, tell our story, you know, more and more people would get passionate and you'd want to do it or they would see her and it's like, you know, man, you know, she doesn't look like she ever weighed over 200 pounds. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we just kept going like that. So you get a food truck, where do you, you know, do you just go park it outside a gym or something? Like where, how do you, well, and that's, and that's you know, just, and that's a blessing um, in itself too, you know, God, place certain people in our path our friends and um that we're still very close to in our paths and so he just said hey park it here for free you know you know yeah. do what you want to do and that's how that's how we started and because um, in addition to a food truck being kind of hard a food truck with healthy food yeah you know it you go out there and you put some fried Twinkies on that thing yeah. and, and some, some big yeah. nachos. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. You can get a line around the building, but you go out there with 
clean food. And people, whoa, 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 yeah, what is this hey, clean food yeah, shenanigans? Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. But yeah. that, that makes sense posting up outside a gym mm-hmm, because, yeah, I mean, uh-huh. it, I would see the To me, it was the greatest idea that. ever. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah like, uh-huh. it's like Girl Scout cookies <laughs> outside. Yeah, yeah. you know, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, so that, that that's brilliant. How did it go when you first... Did you did you see immediate love or was it, was it horrible, everybody skeptical? Actually. Yeah, well, yeah, it was it, it was it was we had and, and we still do have many moments where we're like, oh my gosh, what, you know, what it? did we do? Or you know, I think yeah. I think we bit off a little bit. Too yeah, much, because but. that was my first lesson in electricity. <laughs> so, you know, when I say that, it's funny because I okay, plumbing was done, everything was said, we had equipment in, and I was like. Where do we get power from? And I had this little, little bitty generator, and I, and it, it's funny because it never occurred to me that while I was building this whole food truck, you know, we were dumping this money into it, that I should have been counting my wattage, because when it came down time to plug in the to the generator, nothing worked. I rem- yeah, and you don't know what you yeah. don't our know. First, do you? Our first trial run, we literally had to plug in the oven and then cook and then plug in the refrigerator kind of, and yeah. then to put the food in the refrigerator. It kind so of reminds me of like the Griswold family Christmas, you know, yeah. you put the whole thing up and they go to turn it on and <laughs> whoa, yeah. nothing yeah. happens. That's literally what happened. Yeah. So but we actually cooked it in stages, yeah. Yeah, we did it in stages at the beginning and I'm like, and it was, it was good for us because it taught us through stress. Mm-hmm. So we wanted to do this, we wanted to make it happen. So when something didn't work out and it was making it harder, it kick-started, okay, what do we do? Where do we go next? You know, how do we fix this problem? And we just continually rolled with that motion, and we ended up here. And, you know, one of the things I've noticed about you guys here is you all have a great dynamic, and you, you work. And I'm sure you have your moments yeah. where you're wanting to, to headbutt each other in the kitchen <laughs> over some donuts and stuff, but, you know, I, I think it's cool what you yeah. guys are doing. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, how I ended up even walking in here was because of your customers. Mm-hmm talking about mm-hmm. you which is always the best that you yeah. could hope for and, yeah. and one of the things they said is they feel like you guys sincerely care mm-hmm. and and you, you establish relationships and they walk in here and they feel like you know them and you take the time mm-hmm. to to listen yeah. to them and what their goals are and all that but also that you're an inspiration and, and specifically on the weight loss yeah. with you you know that's a big deal you yeah, know and, and and people don't realize that you know it's easy to put it on mm-hmm. it's harder to get it off yeah. and it's even harder to keep it off mm-hmm. once you've because once you've opened the gates and gained all the weight, well, you can put it on like oh, that. Yes, you can. And yeah. every time you lose it, it's slower and slower mm-hmm. and slower. And so I just, I commend you on that. And Thank I think you. it's awesome. And, and for you with the story of following your passions and, and, and the family history and all that and, and just segueing from what you know into something totally different, I, I think it's awesome. What am I forgetting? If, is there anything that, that hey, they need to know this about us. Or is there just anything that I've gone over the top of, didn't talk about, that, that we're forgetting to let people know? Oh, well, I mean, we pretty much um, hit it. Yeah, I guess the big thing is like our business structure. Um, you don't have to be a subscriber to get our stuff. You can come in and just walk in and grab what you like. You don't have to be uh, on this auto draft system that we have. Um, yeah, we just like cooking healthy options for people if you want to come in and hang out. We have that option too. Well, guys, how do they how do they get in touch with you if they want to sign up for these meal plans? How do they do that? What, let's start with your location. Where are you guys at? Uh, we're actually based off Airline 1704, uh, to be exact, uh, right here across from was it Crane? Yes, yeah, or the Crane. old fire station. Gotcha. Um, right across the street. Um, we do have a drive-through, so you don't even have to get off. You can just kind of outstanding pop in and, and I think I blocked that yesterday on accident, but I, I <laughs> moved <laughs> back out of the way and cleared it out. It's okay. And, and, uh, um, what about the, the social media stuff, yeah. Facebook, oh, we're all that? Big on social media. Uh, Facebook and Instagram, you know, uh, it's Clean Plate VTX. Um, more than likely now, if you put protein donuts in, we'll probably automatically pop up. Yes, definitely keep up with us on social media. Um, like another thing, we do change our menu every two weeks. Yeah. Um, just to. Just because the taste yeah. is mm-hmm. what usually drives people away. So we change it that way, that way you don't get bored. Gotcha. You know, because like I'm a chicken and broccoli yeah. rice lady every day. He's mm-hmm. not. I'm so. like I'm blue right know, everybody's not like that. Yep. So we we have to change yeah. the menu around. Do you and suggest then, they come in here first before going on? If if they're new before yeah, they sign yeah. up for oh, yeah, yeah. all uh-huh. that to kind of talk to you guys, get a yes, game plan. Uh-huh. Yeah, usually when people call or they'll text or comment on social media, that's their initial question. Is you know, you know, how do I get the process started? You know, what do you guys offer? And we usually tell them, hey, just come in, grab what you like, test it out before you jump into because a lot of times 
people will buy on you know what they see or how things taste um and then being that we change it um we usually like to pull people like oh hey man that tastes really good how do i get myself structured to where i can go off the proper portion you know and that's what really keeps us uh, separated from a lot of people is because we're very big on the portion control like we're not going to say oh you need to everybody can't eat seven ounces of protein mm-hmm. and expect to lose weight yep so uh we we break that down for them and we like to fall a little short under the count uh, when we say count usually we count calories for the day um just because we know everybody's going to be on a different number right um and then we place them in that aspect so we That's offer good. you know a lean which is you know six ounces for a total meal um a fit is nine ounces and then we have a bulk which is 15 ounces a full-fledged meal so outstanding yeah. well again guys thank you so much for having me um We've had a blast today. I'm not going to leave without eating those donuts. So we're going to wrap this thing, and then I'm going to eat these donuts, and we're going to get out of here and let them get back to, to serving the people and helping them. But guys, come and check it out. Clean Plate, this place is awesome. You're about to see just how awesome when I take out a few donuts. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we are to the grand finale. Before I sneak out of here and call it a day, you know I'm not going to leave without trying out these donuts. Let me go ahead and get my napkins right now because when I'm going in, I'm going in hard. So first, I'm going to start with this delicious Oreo one because I've been eyeballing those Oreos since we started. So let's just get after this. Mm. And I don't take those little TV bites where we pretend. We're going all in. Probably going to eat two bites. Next, we're popping over to this Reese's one. Is that one? Cotton leaves, I think, was good. Hold on. All right, now we're really moving on. Good Lord, that was good. They, um, okay, I'm coming back to the Oreo. Moving on to the Reese's now. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Good thing is I don't have to try to make up TV faces for this. It just happens. This is delicious, guys moving fast because I want to end this segment so I can just get to all this and not have to talk. So now we're moving on hmm, to our next one here with, um, I forgot, what was this one? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Guys, clean plate on airline. Come get you the donuts. They're like Homer Simpson good. They're that good. And then finally, my wonderful icing job here. Here we go. Uh, and I didn't even screw it up. Uh, guys, once again, eating healthy doesn't have to suck. It can actually be delicious. This proves it. So come on over, check out Clean Plate, and thanks so much for tuning in to me, Victoria, or Caleb Shaw. We'll see you at the next one.